My dudes, what's going on? The long-anticipated World 5 boss is finally here. The divinity legend himself, the Cattle Crook. But before we get started, we have officially have a sixth guild known as the Fitty Itty Army. So join the Discord in the description below if you want to join one of our six guilds. We are currently over 600 plus strong. But anyways, let's get into it. Version 1.86 just dropped with some massive new upgrades and some of the strongest best in slot equipment that we have up to date. Some quick balance changes have happened. Blood Berserker got some love with combustion. Its attack cooldown has been reduced by 50%. So now it's just a measly 20 seconds. Also, using combustion does not use your talent known as inflamed. The inflamed talent got a reduced cooldown as well by a whopping 30 seconds. So now it is at a 60 second cooldown. So expect much more AoE for the Blood Berserker. Now we just need some love for the Beastmaster so he stops living in the lab. A new update for companions. We finally have a pity system. So now King Dude is guaranteed within 200 treats. So a good small step. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more improvement in the future updates. Also, if you hit this threshold, you would receive it retroactively. So go enjoy your dudes, my dudes. Brand new limited time shop has just dropped with some more five star card Prima Fires. Another 10% drop chance premium hat, some cosmic candies, some more hyper obels, another world four ring, a world five card pack at 50% off, and some incredibly strong mob respawn keychains, giving you both 20% mob respawn, which is absolutely no joke. It is nuts. And for the free to play players, you get a prima fire helmet, so enjoy using your favorite hat as a premium hat. Now for the main course, the one we're all here for, the pacifist boss, the one that wouldn't lift a finger for us mere mortals, the legendary cattle crook. Now, if you don't want spoilers, close your ears and hide your eyes because we getting down to it. At minor mole map, we have the entrance to cattle crook with the tired mole NPC that has three quests. Kill six million minor moles. After that, you want to kill 10 million crawlers. And finally, a quest to get a massive trophy known as one of the divine that gives 10 weapon power, 30 all stat, and a crazy 42% drop chance and 35% total damage. This literally blows every other combat trophy out of the water, but it requires you to farm Nightmare Cattle Crook with one quadrillion health and you need to have two things drop. The brand new pendant that to my belief and from chat that gives 25% all AFK gains. This replaces combat and skilling pendant as the best in slot pendant. And the cape that gives you 40% skill XP and 3% AFK gains. So good luck and pray for RNG. On top of the drops, we have a brand new oval that gives 5% all AFK gains. So I believe after all these upgrades, 400% or higher AFK gains is more than possible. Lava has decided to go full incremental with these upgrades. And you know what? I'm all about it. Also with the drops, we got new upgrade stones. But holy moly, these are RNG heavy that have a 60% chance of success. But if they fail, it consumes an upgrade slot. So personally, since everything is so expensive to craft, I would strongly suggest to keep on using World 5 stones for your armor and your weapons, but for your tools specifically, that's what I suggest to use these new upgrade stones to help get higher prints. You can farm Cattle Crook keys at Minor Moles, Crawlers, and Tremor Worms, so get to farming. So now with the new unlocks, we have the new merit tasks. We have nine potential upgrades, which gives you all the new weapons and armor, such as boots and helmet that give you more drop rate and total damage percent. Finally, we have pieces of gear that give us drop rate. We've been waiting so long for these pieces of armor to finally be available to us. And we have chest and legs that give you total damage percent and mob respawn, which are, you know, the, the chest and the legs are half decent, but I don't know if they're actually going to replace Magma. But the weapons, on the other hand, are a huge increase. So I strongly suggest to get these ASAP. It requires little to no effort if you already have Magma weapons. So what I would suggest is for Elemental Sorcerer, Divine Knight, Void Walker, you want to be running full Magma, except for Helmet and Boots for that extra drop rate, because those are mostly your active mains. You want to run Chess and Legs for more of your AFKers. So that's like Beastmaster, Blood Berserker, and Siege Breaker. And, you know, keep keep Bubo in Magma Armor because he needs the old stat because that calculates into his money percent, and we all know that's our money farm. Also, Lava has given us a new Eidolon roadmap for things to come up. Island Expeditions, which I really hope are party-oriented. I think there'd be nothing cool than going onto an Island Expedition with 
10 of your friends or 10 of your guild members. Apparently, we're going to have more World 4 and 5 completion trophies and secrets, so I'm excited for that. And we have been leaked the new World 6 known as Spirited Valley. We were all thinking that it might have been a water world, but I'm sure glad it isn't. And three elite classes will be coming in World 7, and three elite classes will be coming in World 8. I know we were hoping that we wanted three classes in World 6, but I think it's better this way, so you can work more on skills that are based around everybody, or maybe even a potentially a new class, or maybe another character. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There you go, my dudes. Another patch note recap. Hope you guys get the drops as soon as you can. But anyways, my dudes, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eilon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.